In this quick video, I'll show you how you can add background music in CapCut, I'll show you how you can get royalty-free background music, and just give you a general overview about background music. So here on CapCut, I'm going to open up a new project, and what I'll do is I'll go to Import, and I'll just head into my Downloads, and I'll import this video that I've already downloaded. So if we drag this video on here, it is a video of people walking down a street. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that there is no audio on this clip. So if I go to the top right hand corner here to audio, we can just turn this all the way down. Now this is just preference, I just like to do that, it's just habit. So I've just turned my audio all the way down. So now what we're going to do is add some audio to this clip. Now I like to download my audio from external royalty free websites. But if you go ahead and go to the audio tab on CapCut, you can go ahead and import different music tracks from CapCut. So if you want to preview it, you can just go ahead and double click on it and that should play it. If you're then happy with that audio track, you can just drag it on and it's then going to drag your audio track into CapCut. Now, if you don't want any audio tracks from CapCut, like I said, I like to get mine from a royalty free website. So I use pixabay.com forward slash music. So if you just Google Pixabay, it will take you here and then you can search for music. So I'm going to search for city and we can use any of these royalty free music tracks however we like. So we'll go with this one powerful beat. Now I can download this and that should go into my downloads folder. From here, I can then go back to CapCut and go ahead and import this. So if I go to import, we can then drag in this audio file. and I can just drag it below the video. So I'm going to delete the one from CapCut and we're just going to run with the one that we've imported. Now, what I would like to do straight off the bat is go ahead and go to the audio tab in the top right. And what I do is I just bring the volume down to about 0.7 because it usually is quite loud. So now let's play this and preview this. So that is perfect for me. I'm going to bring the volume down a little bit more. So now what we can do is we can go through the track, find where we want to use the audio from. So maybe I want the audio to start here. So we can then split the track here and delete the start. Now I'm going to also split the track at the end here and we'll chop off anything we don't need at the end of the video. Now what you can also do is click on the audio and you can fade in and fade out, which I quite like. So go ahead and mess around with that if you need to. And apart from that, that's basically all there is to it. Let's listen to the video. So that's how you do it. I hope that quick video did help you out.